Aria, how are you today? I'm feeling fun and ready to have a great conversation with you. Can you tell me an interesting fact? Did you know that honey never spoils? Archaeologists have found pots of honey in ancient Egyptian tombs that are over 3,000 years old and still perfectly edible. I've been thinking about the weather and wondering when it's going to warm up. Weather can be quite a topic. A little sunshine can definitely brighten the day. How many humans have you interacted with? Along the way. After a day filled with laughter and teamwork, they finally found the treasure, a giant stash of acorns. Oh, she's smiling. It, well, it means a lot because it's a tool that didn't exist before. Um, you know, our early models of AI were purely script driven and there was no such thing as generative AI. There was no such thing as large language models. And so when those uh, tools started to emerge, it was extremely exciting because it opened up a huge amount of potential that was not there before. Well, I think what's different is the public perception is shifting uh, a little bit more towards that reality that we are going to see robots and they're going to come in all different shapes and sizes and they're all going to perform different tasks. Some of them are going to be purely, you know, uh, replacing human labor uh, in, in these kind of repetitive things that you might see uh, on, a, on a production floor. And some, like ours, are going to be more geared towards actually interacting with people, creating something resembling a relationship. Um, you know, imagine thinking about the, the loneliness epidemic that is all over the world, ironically, be, I think could be because of uh, digital technology. But the point is, I think that lonely people crave connection. And you don't always get that type of you know, fruition of that, that craving through a screen. And I think this, this will allow a conduit for that kind of interaction with technology because it looks and, and resembles a human being. I think the public and the people out there who might be thinking, ooh, I want a robot, they're going to come up with reasons why. Um, and a lot of times you'll be able to probably start interacting with robots like this at a Starbucks or in a store or, or when you, you know, go to the airport, you could be asking for directions and, and things like that. And I think there's something different about interacting with a human-like robot versus something that looks like a garbage can with legs. There are uh, multiple stories out there of people who are creating relationships with AI-generated personalities. 
and that's with no robot. So I feel like the thing that's missing is that physical representation of that digital personality. Anyway, so a lot of the...